Hi guys, break is used in switch statement and loops to break the flow. For example, you just need to write the word break. So if this condition is true, then this loop will stop iterating. So this time break will stop the loop even it is written inside if statement. When i equals 2, then our loop breaks and the output is 0 and 1 because the loop breaks at 2. Now let's see some cases. In this case, the break will exit from inner for loop. This means only the outer loop will iterate. Inside switch, we use it after each case to take out the control from the entire switch block. What if I forgot to write break statement after each case? Let's say what will happen if user enters 1. So after executing case 1, all the remaining cases will get executed simultaneously because there is nothing to take out the control from switch. Ok, let's see this stuff practically. Here I have created a for loop which iterates 5 times. But here I am breaking the loop when the value of i becomes 2. So let's run our code. And our loop breaks when i equals 2. Now let's see continue statement. So when a continue statement is encountered, all the other statements after these statements are skipped. So let's see this by an example when i equals 2. This print statement is skipped. And therefore, 0, 1, 3 and 4 is printed but 2 is not printed. Now I am adding a print statement before continue and a print statement after continue. After continue. Actually, it's showing an error. So let's run our code and it's showing an unreachable statement error because after continue, will never this statement will never get executed. Therefore, the compiler is showing an error. Break and continue are easy concept, but I covered this concept for beginners. Guys, visit Code Archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you. Like Code Archery Facebook page and join our group. You can also support me on Patreon. And if you like my work, then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.